We are now running the world's only captive breeding program for the world's only endangered sea star, which is the sunflower star, a uh, scientific name, Pycnopodia helianthoides. And it's uh, kind of a unique star for a variety of reasons. It's a voracious top predator in a wide variety of ecosystems. It's one of the largest sea stars in the world. It's one of the fastest sea stars in the world. Like when you think of sea stars sitting there attached to a rock and not doing much, like these are very, very mobile and very active. It so happens that when the sunflower stars started to disappear, causing them to be listed as endangered, it was caused by a disease. And there's some indication that that disease might have been related to uh, some warmer waters around that time. To have an animal where you can just like do something and have them do the behavior in response is amazing. The good news is that we have had, because we have access to these animals in the lab now and can raise their larvae uh, and can raise their juveniles, uh, we can see how sensitive they are to, temp to warmer temperatures. And we were actually pleased to find out that this particular species doesn't seem particularly sensitive to high temperatures. So that's a good thing. You know, if sunflower stars are gonna recover in the wild with or without human assistance, they're gonna be doing so in a changing climate. Club, 1.5 centimeters to two centimeters. <laughs>